Welcome back for the video. Today we're gonna talk about video and clips cutting, clip selecting. Last time we uh, marked the beats and prepared everything so we just hop in by importing our footage. Now the first question might be where to get the footage. There are a lot of options. Um, for example you can use compilations, clip compilations. You will find them on Instagram, Discord servers, uh, YouTube. If you just uh, search for, I don't know, your favorite character and then the clip compilation or whatever clips, you'll find uh, most of the time some good quality already cutted footage. It's, uh, as I said, already cutted. So it's like a compilation of the best clips of these characters or specific scene. So the other way would be to import, I don't know, your own footage or to import the full episodes and cut the scenes by yourself that's what I'm gonna do now by that you just import your full episode of Fire Force you can download full episodes raw on I don't know enemy Ross or Niasi or just YouTube sometimes so what you're gonna do is import it just drag and drop it in here or in here if there's a .mkv file you need to um, convert it to mp4 first so you can drag and drop it in because after effects is a bit yeah it's not accepting it right so if you got it in here you just drag and drop it in your composition tutorial loop i will show you my way so just right click it pre-compose move all attributes into the new composition and name it clips so what i do now is just creating my own clip compilation if I don't know what clips I exactly will use in this episode or whatever so I just create a clips composition and then if you click in you see the composition is the same length as the episode and now what I like to do is I cut myself clips uh, in the length of around five seconds so I make a cut right here Control shift D delete the rest then I can go right in here and now if you take a look I can grab by having the selecting tool selected you can drag and drop this in here and can cut the best parts out so for example i want to use the fight which is a little bit later so scroll out you can do that by holding the alt key and the mouse wheel and now you see the fight is coming right here it starts so i'm going to zoom in alt mouse wheel again and now i can select the best parts of the fight so for example we're gonna use this scene right so it starts right here so we can leave it like that and this length doesn't matter how long we can cut it later on but i will leave it like this i just duplicate it by ctrl d and then i can select the next clip and yeah that's how i'm gonna do it if you have more than only one episode, you can drag and drop the other episodes in this composition as well and do the same. And yeah, by that you can select the best clips and have a little composition right here. You can, the best is if you just turn this off, everything off, just the first one. And then you can, after that, if you finished with the editing, you can go through and take a look what you think is the best. Of course there's uh, other and probably better options but this is how I do my editing routine and that's why I show you. Of course you can do this as well in Sony Vegas and render it out and then only make the cuts. Cutting is pretty easy, you can use your page up or page down to get one frame forward or backward. You can use the keys O and E. For beginning and end and if you want to make a cut between you know the keyframe as you've learned the keyframe tutorial it's ctrl shift d to make a cut and ctrl d to duplicate so pretty easy so on i will uh, continue with cutting my clips out i already did that so i don't have to so let me go in the prepared clips comp right here and as you can see first clip second clip third clip and so on i already have my clips done and with that we can work so first clip i already selected at the bottom is this one so what we do now is we just cut it out Control x and we can go into tutorial, tutorial loop click on the little hide button and the sound off button 
go on the first composition and just drag it in. Now you see it's only this length, you can't go out. So the best thing is to work better in your composition by extending it a little bit. So you're gonna right click on the composition one right here and change the duration to 10 or whatever you want. And then it goes like this and you have a little bit more space to work in between in here. A good tool for that is the script RD comp setter if you download it. You can download it in on uh, YouTube and then you import it with the tutorial or whatever you will find one. And after the, that done, you can go on file, first select all the compositions you got, go on file, scripts and RD comp setter. And then you can do the same for all by not have to do it for once for everyone so you can just right click select all the stuff and then choose the duration of 100 seconds go on apply and you see it will apply on all selected compositions which is pretty good to know right and then you can just make a cut at the end of the music Boop. all right so we're gonna first start with the first scene as you can see we got it like this 40 seconds long we don't need it and if so we have the first theme selected okay the second one is uh, pretty much the same so what i do now is go on clips again for me it's prepared clips we use clips grab my second clip which is this one go on second and take a look that should be good and let's take a look if it looks okay that looks kind of good later on we can uh, of course uh, do a little bit of tweaking and that's basically how i do it um, for clip selecting it's important that you have clips selected that are fitting to the length of the yeah selected uh, composition the mark beat so as you can see here it needs to be a little bit longer so we might need to trickster something or add something to do that and in this scene if we take a look at the example i showed you at the beginning what we were gonna do i will do a splitted scene so i will use two scenes in once so we go and prepared clips and we're gonna use the second one as well go in here go in the third and import that all both and we will do the next stuff in the next video okay and so on we're gonna just select all the clips and put it in pretty easy pop pop it's gonna be in here so what i wanted to do is like this yeah next one want to use the hand Oop. next one th this scene and like this now that's pretty much it as you can see it's a good synced You can see it's not perfect right now so we need to do a little tweaking but just with the sync and the clips cutting you have a feeling that it's fitting to the music and this is really important so that's for this video. Next time we're gonna talk about the graphs and scales and we'll change a bit of uh, the time remap and some of the parts and we do the preparation for adding effects and all the stuff. Um, so yeah see you next time.